Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this episode of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we're going to be reading 2 Peter chapter 1. Greeting. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with ours, by the righteousness of God and Savior, Jesus Christ. My grace and peace be multiplied to you in the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Confirming your calling and election. His divine power has granted to us all the things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to the glory and excellence, by which he had granted to us his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine natural having escaped from the corruption that is the world because of sinful desire for this very reason make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge and knowledge with self-control and self-control with steadfastness and steadfastness with godliness and godliness with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective or or unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever lacks the qualities is so nearsighted that he is blind, having forgotten that he was cleansed from former sins. Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election. For if we practice these qualities, you will never fall. For in this was there will be richly provided for you an entrance into the eternal kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, I intend always to remind you of these qualities. Though you know them and are established in the truth you have, I think it is right as long as I am in the body to stir you up to be a way of a reminder. Since I know that the putting off of my body will soon as the Lord Jesus Christ made clear to me. And I will make every effort so that after my departure, you may be able to at any time to recall these things. So in this part of 2 Peter chapter 1, it's talking about making sure that we have self-control over ourselves. That we make sure that we have godliness. That we we are making sure to have the mindset of uh, brotherly love, that we are loving other people, showing kindness, and doing great things for Jesus Christ. So those people that say they're Christians and don't do these things, um, they've forgotten that that is the path that we should be on. So if you're called by Jesus Christ to follow him, we should be doing these things to set an example on this earth. Christ's glory and the prophetic word. For we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to the power of coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice was born to him from the majestic glory, this is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice born from heaven, for we were in him on the holy mountain, and we have the prophetic word more fully confirmed, to which you will do well to pay attention as to the lamp shining in the darkest place. Until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts, knowing the first of all that no prophecy of Scripture comes from someone's own interpretation. For no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. So this is talking about um, the knowledge that Jesus Christ was the son of God that none of this information was like mystical or anything like that 
what was truth and that this is actually things that the disciples saw firsthand so they're talking about this um, as being something that is truth instead of just some made up thing they had a first hand account of everything that Jesus did and are writing to us to let us know what they saw Thank you for listening to this edition of Christians Unite Bible Readings. We will see you again uh, tomorrow for another edition of Topics.